Reza is running a very different operation. Reza, you have a beautiful firm. You are, you've grown really, I know you talk about knowing Steve for a long time, but you've grown relatively quickly, I feel like. I hear about you all the time. You guys are really successful on social media. So I want to hear how you're doing it. It's really, and you guys are really seem to be everywhere. Yay. Can you put Reza's van on? Here, hold on. I'm going to share my screen. I got a presentation for you. And thanks for saying that. Is the van? Is the van? I have the van. I've, hey. got, a slide. I've... <laughs> I've got a slide. Oh, you okay. got a slide. Okay. Let's you got to see it. It's pretty cool. Well, it's in here. Let's see. All right. You guys see the, my screen? Yes. Yeah, my screen? Okay. Okay. Um, um, there's some people on a delay, so you'll see the screen in about a minute. Okay, so my contact information is at, at below. Like, feel free to reach out, uh, send me an email, or shoot me a text. Um, and he I, does respond, guys. I have to say, Reza will respond like anytime, any day, all the time. So. <laughs> yeah, he's the nicest guy. Nice oh, guy. Call him, talk to him. Thank you, thank you, and please do. I, I love talking about this stuff. I could spend all day talking about it, so I love it. And I get to learn, right? I mean, every time I do these things, I get to learn. Super impressed, Ari and Dave, with what you guys have built. It's absolutely incredible. And I think when you look at the chart that you showed us, it shows how, how you are building your brand. It's not overnight. And it takes time, and it takes investment, and it takes a lot of patience. And you have to be relentless. This yes. stuff takes forever. And so what you've done with Law Tigers, I see your guys' stuff all over the place. And you know, it's about being top of mind. I mean, if you think about difficult marketing, think about we are marketing to an event or an incident that has not yet happened. Right. And you, the only way I think you can do that effectively really is to build this brand over time. You guys have done an incredible job. And I totally agree with, with everything that um, you guys have been saying. So that, that's really good. Let me just blaze through this. So um, I'll be on tomorrow too. So Steve and I could pick up some of the stuff that I left off. but. I saw this really uh, early on during the pandemic. I thought it was totally, totally appropriate. And I love seeing this slide again, you know, because you can't really be prepared. And, and I think it was either Dave or Ari, you guys were talking about some firms who their new case intake have gone down 60%, 70%. And, you know, if you are relying on one source uh, for your cases, then, you know, I think you're going to be hurting when something like a pandemic happens. And so when we look at marketing ourselves, and at the end of the day, all marketing works, right? To what degree is, is the big question, but you have to diversify. And so we took our PI practice and we really spun off this niche down motorcycle community, motorcycle marketing. And the way we did that um, was through being super involved in the community. I mean, totally, totally involved with no expectation of anything in return which is how we just live our, our everyday lives. I mean, that's what I truly believe. I mean, you put out without any expectation of getting back, but we do really cool things. We do fundraisers, we do donations, we do drives, we gave away, we were giving away meals to frontline, uh, frontline uh, workers super, super early on during COVID where it was all just completely chaos. I think we gave over 3000 meals away. That's an old um, Instagram post. We do Torque Lot Tuesdays, where if you uh, shoot us a photo with wearing our t-shirt, um, you know, we'll send you some swag. But it's really, our branding is, you know, showing the community who we are. And, you know, we're just real people. Uh, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We're real, we're common people. We work hard, we wanna do real well. And, you know, we love our clients who we represent. And, and we truly, truly love the biker community. I mean, these are incredible people. I get to call my friends. Um, and they are absolutely loyal, like, like everybody was saying. But so there's the van that Steve's been talking about, the motorcycle ambulance. You could see it in the back. It's a, it's a sprinter. It used to be white. Um, we had it wrapped in a matte black. It looks pretty cool. We put some tires on it. Um, the picture on the left, we did a car wash. We were try, trying to raise some funds. Uh, picture below that is a female riding group. They did their annual uh, ride. We supported that. Um, this, we had a costume ride. I mean, there, there's so many things that um, you can do for your practice today where it's not you showing up saying, hey, if you get into an accident, send me your case. It's you showing who you are as a person and as a brand. 
right? I mean, anybody can show up and you know spend a few bucks and do pay-per-click. Anybody can show up, spend a few bucks, and go to these events and give away swag. But at the end of the day, I think people know if you're full of shit and people know if you really truly do care. Um, so we do Taco Tuesdays when COVID first hit. Uh, and it, big, big turnout every time we do them. We do them every other Tuesday. COVID first hit, we stopped doing those events and then we started picking up again. And you know, every time we do the Taco Tuesdays, it's you, we get our, our usual great, great folks that show up, but we get new people showing up. And then the way to do that, the way we drive our engagement, uh, the way we uh, nurture the community that we're working so hard to build and gather is through an app. So we've got a custom app. You can download it. If you want to come to Taco Tuesday, you have to RSVP through the app. Now, to get the app, we get your name, we get your phone number, we get your email address, and we get to nurture that. Barry, are you writing that down? I am. Well, yeah, we had, we had an app, but we kind of let it go. We're working on actually getting it. And photos, too. And then the other thing, photos, too. So if we're giving away free merchandise, through the, you, know, you get it through the app. So you go to the app and you get it. If we go to an event and we take photos of you um, and you want a copy of those high-definition photos, download the app, click on the pictures button, and you get the photos. And, this is how we get our community engaged. This is how we communicate with them. Um, just This is two of our Instagram, and I just wanna show you how much engagement that's there. Um, the photo on the uh, left, 1,279 shares. I mean, to be able to reach that sort of demographic, I mean, this is all organic, we're not spending any money on this. Um, to get 2,100 comments on a post for a personal injury law firm, I mean, that's pretty incredible stuff. And I think it, it resonates big time um, with you know, the folks that are, are, are part of that. And so, um, and we like to let the community know who we are. I'm gonna show this video, it's two minutes, it's pretty funny. So we, we, are, we got this award, but you guys have to see, I don't know if it's, Steve, do you know if this will play? It will. Okay, let's take a look. And this is part of not taking yourself too seriously. You don't see him, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a reason why I like working. It's an amazing honor to be a part of the uh, top 5,000. What, what's the what's it called? Inc. 5,000. Okay. They want to be the best, and so it, we are. Oh, don't use that. Don't use that. We are. The best. I can't do this naturally. Yeah. What was the question again? I feel silly. At uh, ready? I said everything. What I said was great. Like the. What am I saying? There are a lot of law firms, let's start that one over. It's amazing, but it takes a lot of hard work. Oh, hold on, I need to get this. I love the camaraderie at Torque Law. I mean, nobody's a jerk. Karoosh, get out of my shot. Okay. You just want to go ahead and go? Yeah. It's so easy to get up and come to work in the morning because <laughs> it's so great here. Should I say come to work in the morning? We're not really going to work. It's a great place. Love it, that's perfect. Sorry, that's about. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. All right, I'll do it again. Trying to think of what to say. <laughs> I hate it here. It's actually a quit. I hope that wasn't recording. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Erased. Hold on. I need a question or something. What if I said something like, Torque Law truly creates a family environment and we all support each other to reach our goals? <laughs> Am I supposed to actually just. Did you. Are you. Sorry. Are you asking me the questions? Do you want me to just spit it out? We made the Inc. 5000 because we didn't make the Inc. 500. <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. What's the question? <laughs> um, like one of those blurbs that you gave me? Yeah. I could, I was thinking of doing... Where's everybody? Are we done? <laughs> so fun, everybody. <laughs> All right, let me go to the next one. But the whole point is we don't take ourselves too seriously and we, we want to introduce who we truly, genuinely, authentically are to the community and we like to show that to them. And they love to see it and it's super engaging, right? And it really disarms a lot of the hesitancy and the resistance of talking to lawyers in the first place. That's exactly okay. how you should be doing it. Yeah, so um, so that that's been great. Um, the 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 next thing that we do at the firm, I think, you know, aside from marketing, aside from uh, branding, 
you know, you have to know who you are. This is how you build that brand and you engage. And then so we talk about the five whys to get down to our core purpose. At the end of the day, you know, we're a personal injury law firm. You know, the first one, you know, why is that important? It's important because we help injured victims and their families. Well, why is that important? And you go all the way down, you read these, and at the bottom, it's we get to change people's lives every single day. I mean, how impactful is that? This is super critical for your staff to know, super critical for new hires, super critical for when you're recruiting, because it comes down to your people. Um, you're only as good as your people. Our greatest asset are our people. And so we really drill down. We spend a lot of time talking about who we are, our core purpose, and why we do what we do. And I think that makes a big difference. And I think that translates into your marketing. It translates into every time your receptionist answers the phone. It translates into your intake people who are taking calls. And it's, you know, who do you want to be um, at the end of the day? So um, really quickly, uh, intake, I think, uh, probably one of the most important departments in every single law firm. We take it super, super seriously. We take recruiting really seriously. If there's a 10 step process to even um, get through the recruitment process with our firm, it's very difficult. Uh, and we take training really seriously and, and we, we're always training. We record every phone call that comes in um, and we're training and retraining because you know you could get, you could spend all the money in the world and if you've got nobody to answer the call or if you don't have quality people at the other end who can close the deal for you, then all the marketing we just did, all the advertising that we just did, all the brand building we did goes out the window. So um, I think they're equally as important and, and we take it really seriously. Um, I just have five, five kind of uh, steps I think that uh, really, really uh, can impact how you're designing the way your intake system works. Um, they're there. Let's see, um, some additional intake tips. Uh, tools to succeed, you know, make sure you're set, you know, we're totally remote right now. So our entire staff, we've got 10 people on our intake team. Um, they're all remote and they're all over the country. We have, we've got people all over the place, but you want to make sure they have the tools they need, you know, get them the dual monitors, get them the headset, get them the cloud-based phone, get them a cell phone, pay for their cell phone. Um, make sure there's texting capabilities, make sure they have high-speed internet. Um, guidance and training, make sure this is ongoing. We have an ad intake admin person that's doing this, this is all they're dedicated to doing, is training, recording, quality control. Um, lead management software, you've gotta get one. Um, you know, it's the only way that you can truly be able to follow up properly and, and manage the leads and where they're coming from and be able to look back and say, okay, you know, what, did, what was my cost per acquisition of a case? So make sure you- What yeah. do you use? Uh, we use lead docket. I know my firm works with you and you guys have an amazing system. I know when cases come through, I mean, you guys are on it, so. Yeah, and, and well, you gotta give, you know, you gotta give your team the tools to do that. And yeah, we refer a ton of business out every year. I mean, we're thousands of cases we refer out every year across the country. And um, that system has allowed us to automate most of that process. So it's been really great. Um, we talked a lot about, you know, how do you do this? How do you get out in the community? How are you doing it? I think the question shouldn't be, how are we doing it? It should be, who is responsible for doing it, right? So um, instead of how, ask who, we always say that. Um, you know, empathy, compassion, caring, even if it's a case that you don't want, you know, you don't want to hang up on these people. Um, and, you know, they're coming to you at their uh, darkest, most difficult times in their lives. So, you know, you've got, there's sensitivities and, and phone etiquette that you have to drill into your staff. Uh, and nurture leads. Maybe it's not a case you want today, but collect and build those lists. You want to make sure you're collecting, you know, who's contacting you, where they're coming from, and monitor that. Over the years, you'll be able to build this giant list. So you have a newsletter that goes out via email. You know, even though you can't help them, they're still there. And you may be able to come back and, and find some, do some data mining and find some clients uh, in there. I love this quote. Um, basically, if, if you want to create problems and barriers for yourself, they're, they're there all day long. But if you want to find solutions, they're there also. And so it's, it's you know, mentally, you, you can always figure out um, tips and... Uh, yeah. Before you go on, um, people are asking, what are you using for recording your call? Can you go back two slides? I guess it's that, that slide. Who are you, what are you using to record your phone calls? Uh, we use call tracking metrics. Okay, and you were talking about um, you have a, you have people that are just 
answering phone calls all day long. Um, that is, so you have an actual intake department, right? We do, yeah. Now, um, Ari, you guys have a lot of law firms. You guys are sending lots of leads over to them. Do you guys do that using Salesforce or are you guys using something else? Hubs, we have HubSpot for that. And uh, we have a call center that'll do, just basically get basic information. We don't, it's not an intake. Just okay. name, uh, phone number, email, where the accident happened, and then we we, we route it directly to the firms uh, to do the uh, do the intake. And then you're doing the remarketing for them through that lit through the data you're grabbing. We do. We have a newsletter, and then they can they we leave it up to them to remarket locally to maybe leads that they didn't sign up that they wanted. Um, uh, but we're doing more topical re retargeting and remarketing you know, like events, shop, uh, activities, not, not about, uh, you know, legal, you know, specific, uh, legal matters. So yeah, the database is important. You want to build up the database and you want to remarket to that database, whether or not you sign them up as a client, because, uh, as Reza said, they could be a client or they could refer someone to you in the future. Yeah. Anyone who calls your office for sure. Steve, you have a different operation. You've got a trial firm. You guys are in trial like all the time. That's what you guys do. How do I mean, you that, that's what I do. That's what I do. Yeah, let me see what else I got. These are just the last few tips. You've got a firm. Um, find mentors. Surround yourself motivated, positive people. This is for our audience of lawyers. Uh, ask for help when needed. I mean, people just naturally want to help, right? When you got great, great plaintiffs bar who support each other, people like Steve, who's really like a renaissance man. I mean, you call him up right now and not know him and he'll have a, he'll have a two hour conversation with you. So, you know, reach out for help, uh, invest in your own personal growth and well-being. That's a big one for me. Exercise, sleep well, eat right. Um, spend time with your family and friends. I think there's nothing more important than that. And, you know, love what we do. I mean, we're so lucky that we get to do what we do every single day. I mean, it's not a job for me. I know it's not a job for Steve. He's just truly passionate and he does it with all his heart. So, um, you know, be grateful and, and we're super lucky uh, to do what we do. This is my last slide. I got nothing else after this. I put Kobe up. Um, it's been about a year since he's passed, but more than that, it's the mentality that he brought to the game, right? Consistently trying to improve. Uh, we're learning every day at my firm. We're changing things up every single day, trying to improve day in day out we we get win we have wins we have big losses but we come back and we try to learn how to do it better um my contact information is down there but guys feel free to reach out and uh it was great being a part of this panel so awesome. how do we get a t-shirt we yeah. download the app download our app go to the app store download the app and you can get one there you go folks uh, I'm, I'm downloading the app. I've, I've already asked you my email. I didn't get a t-shirt. Um, I'm going to download the app. No, I, yeah, right? One quick question, Steve. When people, when we do our right. intake... Right now we have it off. No, we have no merch. We're out of stock. Tell them next week like we're sending out all t-shirts. Make sure we're asking that when people refer you cases, it's like there's something that lawyers are missing. Um, so one of the most important things that comes up in trial, because you got to remember, when you have... Uh, you know, when you're doing cases like this or even PI cases. One other thing to add, if possible, if possible, make sure you go out to the scene yourself. I mean, it's a lot different than when you're looking at photos or reading a police report or looking at Google satellite, right? When you go to the scene, you will notice things that you won't in those photos or those experts report. So anytime you can, I love to go out to see the scene myself because you know, maybe there's things that weren't picked up. Maybe, you know, I'm looking for something that the uh, investigator wasn't. So anytime you get a chance, I think it's worthwhile to go out there. I've got every case that I'm litigating, I go to the scene personally. I don't care if it's in New York, I don't care where it is, you know, whatever I've been brought in to try a case. Steve, we will see you tomorrow. Reza, you're coming back. I have a whole bunch of questions for you, but I will hold them till tomorrow. So uh, get your answers ready. And we have tomorrow, oh, Dave fixed the slide. Okay, so tomorrow we have alternative sources of liability. What is Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Dave, you. engineering, orchestrating all things you will. Hello?